this is day three after surgery. First couple days, I did a lot of sleeping. Kids have been taking really good care of me and I have been living in this bed. I sound like I'm out of breath because I am. Today I'm gonna share a little bit of how my day looks as I've been recovering post-surgery. When I wake up, I gotta roll to the side because it hurts to use my abs. And then I sit here for a second. A little while to get out of bed. After I use the bathroom, I just stand in the bathroom area. Whew. Holy cow, I have not showered since before surgery. That's why I got my lovely top bun, and that's okay. I don't think I'm too stinky, actually. Or at least Jay says I'm not too stinky, so that's good. What I like to do is, I have to walk around. The doc says, the more I walk, the more the gas pains will release out of my body. So the gas, not gas, but the air, they bloated my stomach really big to find all the stones, and that is painful. It like rises into your like shoulders and your chest and your back and like lower back. Super painful, but I have this special thing that I put on my back or my stomach. It's called a back flex. You guys have had so many awesome comments on Facebook and so many people have shared so many stories. So I wanted to share more of how recovery is going. This is my magnet. I put it on my back or my stomach or wherever it hurts and it helps the circulation. Really feel like it's helping me. And then I like to check my incisions. I'm not one to show off my fancy body, but you guys have shared so many stories with me. I feel like I should share with you. So here is my stomach. So they went in my belly button, in my, right under my sternum, my under my ribs. That's what fancy, how fancy I am. You guys like that? Super fancy today. After I've done my morning routine of bathroom, checking out my belly, then we slowly walk and get some exercise to help release that air. And I go see what the kids are doing. What are you doing? Um, vacuuming. Good job. Clay's my ultimate cleaner. She likes to clean. I appreciate that. So as I sit on the couch, all of my friends come and visit me. And this is Tyler. Tyler's helping Shay and, where's Wyatt? Wyatt film a video. So it's been really good. I've had helpers come and help do my work work. So they're filming this video while I help Cora do some school. She's gonna sit here and be my buddy. I actually feel normal when I'm sitting, if I don't talk too much. We use CK after a short vowel in one syllable word. Because it hurts to read, I have brought Evie in to help read the lesson for Cora, and I will help where I can. Okay, Cora's working on. Evie was so helpful. Hi, Mom. Are you up for doing a video with me? So if I can sit. You can sit. We're swapping diets. But I can't eat a lot. Well, we will make it so that you can eat it. Okay. Go, let's do it. Let's go. This is what I've had today for breakfast. This is like a probiotic drink, prebiotic drink, and it helps my digestive system. The one thing I hate is when you come out of surgery, and my system stops for like a week. Like I literally don't have a bowel movement for a week. So that's like the worst is if your stomach hurts and then you have like a really a, like constipation, so nasty. But all my drinks and my pills have been helping. And now I get to pretend that I'm not looking like death and help film a video with Clay. I think it's actually a funny, funny video because she's gonna have to eat my clear liquids diet of like applesauce and broth and my probiotic drink and various things that probably aren't super yummy to everyone else, but helps my guts. Okay, I filmed a little something with Clay and I got to eat some toast and egg. It's taken me, how long Clay? Like an hour to eat this? It's been, yeah, it's been a while now. So. Now it's time for lunch. Now it's time for a nap. 
No, we need to film lunch and then and then you can go and take your nap. I feel like Clay is my mom and she's telling me what to do. I just need this video done. No, she's good. She's a hard worker. We filmed a little bit of Clay's video. Mom was great. Been willing to do that and for me. You'll have to check out Clelea because she tried some of my foods. So, this is what I've been having for my lunches. I no have, joke, she legitimately has been. I have two saltine crackers. I can't eat a lot of those. And then half or maybe a full of applesauce if I'm feeling up to it. I did have a bite of Clay's soup and I think it was too much for my stomach actually. I can feel it, I can feel it moving. But we have been so blessed, so many people have brought meals. So we're literally living off of like neighbors meals which have been so kind. We've had really good ones too. So Clay's eating the lasagna. Lasagna Lasagna's one of my favorite. I was actually like craving lasagna yesterday when we were shopping and then I was like, oh, we're getting lasagna. It was so kind, a neighbor brought us lasagna. They also have brought us pizza and soup, lots of soups, it has been so nice. <laughs> Applesauce and my saltine crackers for lunch. A little bit of medicine. So, mom's gonna take a nap. We just talked to the doctor. She has some pain in an area where the incisions and the surgery wasn't. And so, she needs to lay down. Oh my gosh, I think I took a nap for like two hours. It's 5.45. Three hours? Something like that. How long have I been out? I don't know, I've you just been working all day. You went sleeping at like three? Like when we left? Oh my gosh, I needed that, I'm so tired. It's almost dinner time and I hear Somebody dropped off some food. Three people dropped off food. Wait, what? Not like three dinners, but I think our ward made it so you, someone brings a dessert, someone brings a dinner, and then someone brings sides. Wow, we've been really, so really sweet. blessed, and so, so many people are so kind. Right, so what's on the menu tonight? Well, we have banana bread as well as cowboy cookies, I think is what you call Oh, it. yummy. And then another can't person have any of that. brought salad as well as these awesome packaged breadsticks. And then someone brought, oh, and then the Bullocks. Yes, our friends, Hey Grill Hey, they're amazing. Barbecuers, amazing. They brought, they brought pulled pork, baked beans, <laughs> fruit, and salad, and rolls. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have I hope my stomach can handle one of those things. I really want to eat that. That's amazing. That's amazing. She does wonders with meat and all things barbecue. Okay. All right. Well, it's evening. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Okay. Did you guys clean up your chores? Yeah. Yeah, I've cleaned mine like five times now. Yeah. So I'm going to get up. We're going to see what we're going to eat for food. You guys excited? Yeah. We've been so blessed. What's crazy is I feel pretty normal when I lay down. Um, but standing up is always exhausting. So I'm gonna go and help the kids make sure everyone eats. And um, I may not be able to eat everything for dinner, but I'll have some broth or some soup, take some more of my digestive pills, and maybe we can cuddle tonight and watch a show or something, huh? Hey. The kids will um, sometimes come into the bed or jump on our bed and we'll watch a show. Mm -hmm. And I like to watch the kids are playing downstairs, and the kids have done so good. They've cleaned the kitchen, and Evie is taking care of everything. Oh, oh no, fruit over by me. I think I can have some of that. So, it's dinner time. I think we're going to let the kids watch a movie so mom can cuddle and relax, and we can be having like a participating activity together instead of me just sleeping. So, my pain level's gone down. I had to take um, my ibuprofen today. I always think I'm doing good and then when the pain medicine wears off, I realize it does hurt really bad. But it's just ibuprofen. I stopped taking the, the more intense medicines in the hospital and I've done pretty good. I am literally exhausted, which is crazy because I don't think I did a lot today. But maybe just sitting up and being energetic or looking energetic was exhausting. So we're gonna end their night with some family time. We got kids over there, over here. Took me a little while to get up the stairs, but I feel 
okay sitting. This makes me happy when we get to all be together. Evie's reading her book, Cora's over there. We're waiting on Dad and Clay and Shay. And we're watching, Battery is not included. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I'm trying to bring back some awesome 80s movies. I think everybody liked it. Did you guys like the movie? I loved it. It was adorable. Yeah. I want little, I want little robot triplets that clean everything. That are broken. Oh, I see why they want that. They want them to clean everything. No, they make um, ah, they tinker. Batteries not included are it was is it like childhood favorite of mine? So now we have to. Hmm. It's totally original. It is original. There's nothing like it. Totally gonna. <sighs> now it's time to get ready for bed. Yeah, it's bedtime. And I might sit here for another couple of minutes. Dad will help me get ready for bed, huh? Mm-hmm. A lot of helpers lately. It's been really kind and great to have so many helpers. Kids are so good. Okay. Love you. Thanks for hanging out. See you guys next time.